So when I look at the bridge, um, I go back in time to when it wasn't there. You don't just build a big bridge. And building this one took as much planning as it did manpower and equipment. The cableway was actually a bridge that would build a bridge. So Bridge Day started after we opened the bridge in 1977. And so it kind of started as a bridge walk. You know, um, in 79, they just kind of walked out. It was just for a few hours. One lane was closed. Uh, the southbound lane stayed open to traffic. And, uh, you know, people enjoyed it. Um, over 42 years ago, when they created the bridge and finished the bridge, it opened the Corridor L project, which really opened the world of Southern West Virginia to the rest of the world. And Bridge Day celebrates that. It celebrates that instead of taking 45 minutes to go down a curvy little road and back up the other side. And it also highlights the remarkable park that's right underneath the bridge. When they built the bridge, all they had in mind was, you want to, we want to get you from point A to point B faster. I don't think they thought this is going to be something that people from all over the world want to come and look at. That this is going to be so beautiful from the air, from the, the, from the river, from the trails, that this is going to bring everybody here. And we have that one day a year that they shut the bridge down that we get to showcase everything. Bridge Day is West Virginia's largest one-day event. It is a celebration of everything Fayette County has to offer. Outdoor recreation, high adventure, scenic beauty. This is a huge event. Like, we are a small town, and it just seems crazy. To me, Bridge Day is simply the best holiday. Um, I, would, I would trade uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, my birthday, 4th of July, and all these other things put together for Bridge Day. People come from all over the world to live their dreams by being airborne for a few seconds. It's really amazing that we can actually host an event on that bridge and surrounding it. The spotlight's on. Everybody in the world's looking at West Virginia and it's our time to shine. They open those gates first thing in the morning. Everybody does this mad dash. You see them running because everybody wants to get to the center of that bridge. With people, wall to wall people just looking over the edge and you can turn around and you can see it's the expanse of the, the New River Gorge behind you and down below you 876 feet to the river and then people are boop, boop, boop and the catapult, pew, pew. Yeah, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. Surrounding Bridge Day, we have several events that happen in the area. Bridge Day is always hosted on the third Saturday of October. There's an active Southern West Virginia race that happens on the bridge. That's their starting point. So they are, you're gonna be able to witness them running across the bridge that morning. So I find the Bridge Day 5K is unique because it's a running race on a bridge. Then it's a running race on a bridge that's 876 feet off the river and it's a running race on a bridge that starts on the bridge. You have a chili cook-off that happens immediately following Bridge Day in the town of Fayetteville. Which is where we shut down the street kind of like a big block party and we have music, the best chili vendors from around the state, and we also do the craft beer part of the festival, showcasing Bridge Brew Works and the Fruit Boat Brewery. So Taste of Bridge Day occurs on the eve of Bridge Day. Bridge Day is a Saturday, this Taste of Bridge Day is a Friday. Different restaurants and food caterers from the area come together, they make some of their signature dishes. Um, in fact, I think that's probably one of the better ways to sort of, in one location at one time, get a really good feel for the, the amazing restaurants that are in this Fayetteville New River Gorge area. 
the shops are open later, the restaurants are all bustling. But most of the uh, rafting companies and uh, restaurants outside of town will have bands, and so there's uh, something going on all day and all night. One, it's just a fun day to be here, but also it's during fall color. So people actually get to see the Southern Appalachians in its most unique and beautiful time of the year. W Wild Blue Adventure, I mean, if you have a child that's really into flying, I mean, that's a perfect thing to top the day off. Everybody who flies with us, it is a powerful experience in its own, and by the time we land, I feel like every person I've flown, hundreds at this point, um, I have a new friend. There's a Into the Gorge shuttle that is offered now that you can get on a bus and drive to the bottom um, and sit riverside and watch the base jumpers come down. You get a unique view of the repellers and the Highline Adventures. You know, there were over 350 repellers coming from everywhere in the country and some foreign countries. Well, the High Line, we use it in mountaineering to get from one high peak to the other. Basically, a 800 foot slide, and you were dropping maybe 200 feet. A vantage point of Bridge Day that a lot of people don't get is from a whitewater raft from the river. Um, this is a, a truly unique way to see Bridge Day. Floating underneath of the bridge while people are falling up above you is a really interesting experience. It's hard to describe. We see people from all over the world that come to Bridge Day to enjoy the festivities and to jump 876 feet to the bottom. The energy that uh, around like the base jumping platform is just, I mean, you can feel it in the air. There's tension, there's excitement, there's a little bit of fear. I can only imagine what the base jumper is thinking when that launch clicks and they go off. <laughs> You know, last year I was standing there um, watching and this uh, jumper was getting ready to jump and he, you know, he was talking to his mom and I thought, oh my goodness, that's not even my kid. And I'm like, ah. yeah, I can't, I couldn't imagine. You know, my kids, family, friends coming up to Barry and be like, oh, you're jumping this year, we're watching, good luck. But by the time you're on the platform, that energy is, uh, that's not where your mind is, for sure. It sort of fades into the, the the darkness, you know, you start to get pretty focused. The only thing really in, on my mind is the next 20 seconds. One, two, three, go!